I'd say from uh, from having the idea to kind of having a draft that was, you know, polished, but they probably for about four months initially to, um, you know, get it all down and, like I say, have a draft. Um, but then redrafting and maybe another six months, because that tends to be the long bit. When you kind of redraft and you edit and you edit and you edit forever, it feels like. Um, so, yeah, initially it took me four months to write and then another about six months of edits on top of that. It kind of came to... I didn't really have a fully a full idea of what it was going to be like. It, it kind of just this... It just popped into my head that basically the, the book is set in a, a village called Beedno, um, which is where I used to go to as a kid, like, I, you know, a lot. It's, it's near to where I live. It's about an hour up the road. So I used to go there quite a lot. And just this like, this image of, like, a boy being in, the like, the sand dunes on the beach at Beedno um, wearing fairy wings just kind of jumped into my head. Um, and then, I, I mean, I've kept a diary since I was about 13, so I kind of then, like, dug out all of my old um, teenage diaries and just was, like, kind of going through them. And, and as I was, this character, the, the main character, Star, this is his name, kind of jumped off the page, really. And like I say, it took me about four months to to, to kind of to write it and polish it and everything, which is quite, for me, it's that's quite quick. Because um, normally I'd say a book takes me about... <clears throat> Probably maybe about a year. <clears throat> Excuse me, um, but yeah, this this idea kind of just it just kind of pinged into my head really, and I just went with it. Right, like I say, I um I started keeping a diary from being about thirteen, and not for any reason. Like no one ever said to me, "Oh, you know, keep a diary" or whatever. It just it was just in me to write. It was something that I just like you know in, intrinsically or whatever I had to do. Um, so I think I've always had that in me, but writing a book, I, I it, no, it, it just, I, I kind of sat down, probably about 10 years ago, actually, I um, I sat down, because I actually, I used to be an actor, I um, I used to do musical theatre and everything, um, and I think I got, like, I'd, I'd got down to, like, the finals of, the, of a Western job, and I was like, okay, this is going to be great, this is going to be, like, you know, it, whatever, um, and it turned out that it wasn't and i just i don't know i was just i was gutted i was kind of like disillusioned i was like oh god and i kind of i don't know out of that pain i suppose or out of that frustration i kind of just picked up my laptop and just started writing as as i'd done you know since i was 13. it was like i say it's just something inside of me does that um and and you know before i knew it a book had kind of appeared and it's a book that will never see the light of day because you know I don't know, the, the first thing you write is never usually the best thing you're going to write. Um, but, yeah, I just, like I said, I just kind of, I just sat down and I did it. And as soon as I did, if something just clicked and I was like, oh, right, okay, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. I have a background in that. So I do have, I know a lot of people that have, like, connections in that area. And there have been a few different people who have come forward who've read the book um, who've suggested different things. Um, so I would, yeah, I would, especially with, with fairy boys, I, I think, so I really think it would lend itself really well to musical theatre. It was, it kind of be like a, I say it being like a Dear Evan Hansen kind of style thing. Cause it's, the story is kind of, you know, in the same vein, I think. Um, so yeah, it definitely something that's on the cards. Um, so we'll, we'll see, we will see. But again, like from, you know, I've got friends who do work in that that industry. I know, um, you know, I have friends who are producers and things, and it's always something that's talked about. Um, so, you know, when the right thing kind of comes up, definitely, I definitely would. I've never written um, a script as such. Um, I've worked a lot with scripts, like I say, as an actor before, but my, I think my kind of genre, or my kind of style is definitely suited to, at the moment, is suited to novels, is suited to books, is suited to like prose, if you will. Um, so I, I don't know if I would write the script as well, but I definitely would think about having, you know, having one of, you know, my pieces kind of turned, turned into a, a script or a film or something. Yeah, I think that would be great. Probably not. In the sense that I didn't really think it was 
job maybe i just didn't think about it i really i think um like i said i went i went to drama school i was an actor for a while um so that was kind of my my focus um so it, 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 it hasn't always been something that's been on my mind it wasn't like young in my school being like i'm gonna be an author i didn't really know what i wanted to do really um I just knew I wanted to do something. I knew I wanted to make a contribution. I'm creative, like, you know, I'm artistic, that kind of thing. Um, I knew that I'd want to make some sort of contribution, but I, no, I didn't necessarily want to be an author. I mean, the first kind of step when you've kind of, when you've done all of the the hard work, I suppose, like the editing and formatting and everything is, you get like a proofed copy of, of the book. So it's not the final copy, like it's, um, <clears throat> there's changes. So there's there's things like in formatting that need to be changed. Maybe there's things on the cover that need to be changed. But that is still like the first kind of time you hold your book. And it is amazing. Like I have my first ever proof copy and I'm kind of like, I wrote in the front cover my first ever book. Um, it it just yeah it feels really special you kind of um you open up the package and there it is like an actual book um with you know it's yeah it's it's really bizarre but it's it's amazing like it's amazing and i don't know if i ever because obviously fairy boys is my first published book and i do um i always think god would i still will i still feel this way you know when if you know another a new another book comes to my next book or whatever comes out um because it was just so special to experience that for the first time. I think I will. It will always be a special moment and a special feeling. Um, but that very first time with Fairy Boys, um, it was pretty amazing. Like, um, <clears throat> we're well, quite a varied taste, I think. I love, I do love, like, fantasy stuff. I love Neil Gaiman. Neil Gaiman is a real kind of um, big favourite of mine. I love his stuff. At the moment, I'm reading loads of um, middle grade adventure books because um, I'm writing that at the moment. Um, so that's what I've been reading quite a lot of. Um, a book that I've really enjoyed recently. It's um, called Orphans of the Tide by Struan Murray. Struan Murray, I think. Or Struan Murphy, um, which I really, really enjoyed. I do like that um I do like like an adventure fantasy kind of story but then as well i love stories with hearts like so when i was growing up i loved um judy bloom stories judy bloom books so um stuff like super fudge and um otherwise known as sheila the great and um are you there god it's me margaret stuff like that because they're just they're just kind of i don't know the, the voice that they use um just feels really kind of natural so i like so i suppose it's a bit of a contradiction i like that kind of natural and um, you know real life kind of stuff and then i love fantasy stuff as well i mean to be honest i if a book's good and an author's good at the good at a good writer i really love good writing um like uh kieran millwood hargrave i love the way she writes um so yeah it, it, for me, I suppose, it, yeah, it's, it's the writing is um, what's important and I suppose the genre doesn't really matter. As long as it's, you know, written well and takes me on a journey, then then it's one for me. You know, I really didn't enjoy the, you know, the, the Golden Compass film, um, which is based on the Philip Pullman and um, his dog materials. I really didn't enjoy that film. But then when it's the TV show that was on the BBC, um, there's been two series of it so far. I thought it was brilliant. I thought it was absolutely incredible. Um, so that that's strange. And again, it comes back to that thing where you know a lot of stuff is going on TV now. Um, and you, I suppose with TV, which you can't do with film, is that you can have you've got a lot longer. So when you've got these big kind of vast stories, um, <clears throat> you know you've got ten episodes, which is essentially ten hours to really tell it whereas um before we kind of had these you know platforms to tell those stories and you could only really tell it in film um i mean i really i just think that that golden compass film didn't really work for me i just think it didn't kind of capture the essence of what the story was about whereas the um the tv show really did and um, so that kind of you know saved itself 
on TV. Um, as far as stuff that I really wish hadn't, I can't. I can't think of anything because I, I do enjoy. I mean, I usually always um, prefer the book version just because you get more detail, and also you can. It's your own imagination. So in my head, things always look, you know, far better than they do on screen. Maybe. I don't know if that's always true. But I, that's that's my story and I'm going to stick with it. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I can't, I can't, to be honest, I can't think of anything that I wish hadn't been. Um, there's loads of stuff that I wish, you know, would be part, you know, onto, onto film. Too many to mention, really. Um, but, yeah, yeah. Um, but I, de- I definitely think it's great that, you know, with more kind of, the TV platform that books especially can be told properly because there's more time to do so. Um, it's just, I mean, at the moment, it's just a case of, you know, obviously we're all locked down, so we can't, but definitely in the future, I really enjoyed, um, I really enjoy when I do that. Um, I, like the one that I did back in 2019 was, um, yeah, it was, it was with fairy boys and it was in schools and I really enjoyed it because I kind of got the, um, you know, talk about the book, but also I, I kind of made it more about kind of creative writing from personal experience because that's essentially what Fairy Boys is. Um, so it was really nice to kind of meet, you know, young people. And first of all, instead of kind of walking in and being like, okay, so now we're going to write and it's going to be very structured, I, it kind of started with a conversation. It started with, okay, so what inspires you? or what do you love or what you know what's your favorite thing to do or what's your favorite subject at school or anything really and that was kind of how it all began and then from that i was like well you know it'd be really interesting then that's your own personal experience and um, so now try and incorporate that into a story so you know for instance and one girl loved to play the clarinet so i was like right okay so let's get a story you know together you know and, really short short amount of time we had so it wasn't going to be a novel it was just going to be you know a page or a few lines or whatever but it was like you know just incorporate that into you know a story you know tell a story with your personal experience because for me that is what writing is about um because you know there are like like any kind of art there are hundreds and thousands of people um, you know, or Jocelyn for Space are all doing essentially the same thing. There are hundreds of thousands of writers. So the only thing that's going to get you heard or get you noticed um, is by telling your own truth. Like, you know, you tell your own story um, because that's the only thing that you have that is different. And essentially that's what Fairy Boys is. Like I said, it, it stems from my own diaries. It stems from my own experiences going on holiday to Beedon or Village. Um, so that's why you know that it's such a personal thing for me but that's um you know i think that's really important and that was what the um the workshops really focused on um so i definitely like to do more of them um because with school visits a lot of the time you are kind of just sitting there talking about your book which is great you know it's great to kind of get it out there and to sit and meet people but i do think as well um well this is just me but i i think instead of you know it just being one-sided i always think it's best that it is a conversation and that you do have you know on the other side someone else's input or another group's input and it i just think it becomes more kind of more interesting i suppose changes every time i usually usually i have to have an idea um for I'd say for a story, but actually for me, it probably starts with characters. Um, because I was, you know, I trained as an actor, worked as an actor, whatever. I, that's my, from my experience. I usually will start with a character. Um, I remember doing, you know, working and um, using the Mike Lee technique, where basically you, um, Mike is a director, and you, you'll kind of get a group of actors together and just say, okay, you know, create a character. And then from the characters they've created he'll then kind of put them into different situations and kind of do a lot of improvisation and then he'll come out with a script eventually at the end of it um and i suppose the way i write is a little bit similar to that like i will start with characters um and then i'll put them 
yeah, I'll, I'll try different situations and be like, oh yeah, I can see how that would go out. Mm, that doesn't feel right. Um, and then, and then a story can kind of come. Um, but you know, I mean, saying that, that, that is how I've worked before, but also I've, I've had these, you know, in the past I've had a big idea and like, I mean, fairy boys, fairy boys, you know, just kind of trickled into my head. This kind of, it was a really strong image in my head. Um, and that's how I started. And then I went to try and kind of find the characters and find the story. Um, it's a real, I suppose what I'm saying is it's a real process and it can be different every time. Um, but definitely for me, um, characters is always kind of where I, it's a strong kind of influence on how the story goes, I suppose. Um, there's lots of things in the pipeline. I can't really talk about any of them at the moment because um, they're not, I haven't got like official release dates and things for them. Um, but yeah, definitely. I mean, as a writer, you always, you have to, I mean, as a writer, you're always writing anyway, but you, you kind of have to keep the momentum going and you have to keep coming up with new ideas and new stories and stuff. So I do. Um, I mean, I've just finished all my edits on a book, which is um, now kind of going through the process of publishing. But I can't, I mean, I can't really say anything about that because um, it hasn't, like I said, it, there's nothing finalised yet, but definitely, there's definitely more stuff coming. Um, a lot of people ask me about a sequel to Fairy Boys, which again is something I've um, started and I've got um, in a file on my laptop. Um, but that, I mean, that which, and it, it will definitely come. It's just, it's all with um, publishing and the business, it's all about kind of timing. Um, like I say, again, we're in such strange times at the moment. Um, bookshops aren't open um, obviously Amazon is which is great but a lot of the way you would kind of launch your work um, <clears throat> you're not able to do at the moment um, so I think a lot of stuff are getting delayed a lot of planned kind of releases are getting pushed back so it's all a bit weird at the moment but yeah there's definitely um, definitely lots of other things coming to anyone you know any creatives out there at the moment um, just keep going, keep going. It's it's a rough times at the moment. It's hard. Um, obviously, you know a lot of bookshops are shut, but theatres are shut, cinemas are shut. Um, it's a really weird time, but just keep going. Stay positive, stay creative, and anyone who's kind of writing anything at the moment to just keep going and to believe in yourself. Because I think as a creative, as an artist, you kind of have to be your own cheerleader. Um, because it's you know there's there's so many people out there and so many people do great things and so many people you know working and um, in the business so you just you just you know, believe in yourself keep going um and stay stay safe stay strong an lgbt and plus story um so i've really enjoyed what i've enjoyed with it is kind of meeting people in that in the lgbt community meeting groups in that kind of community especially you know groups of young people in that community it's just i've really enjoyed how it's kind of um how this story has touched their lives and how it's inspired them and um, it's it's a really kind of nice kind of you know side thing that comes with being a writer because you know as a writer you like i say there's a lot of time on your own and you do it because you love it but also you know when someone not only when someone enjoys what you've done, but when it kind of you know affects someone's life or touches someone's life or something or you know helps them in a way it's a really special feeling um, and that's what Fairy Boys has done um, for a lot of people, um, which is really, really nice. So I just wanted to put that out there and, you know, just say thank you for all the support that I've had, for all the people who bought the book. Like, it's really been overwhelming, the amount of people who've gone out there and really supported it and um, and how it's affected them and how it's touched them. So I just want to kind of, I just want to say thank you. And like I said, there is lots of more stuff coming.